Right, Games Brains are bang Life here, playing some Ethan Must Die, DLC of Resident Evil 7, mini game, which is billed as being super, super hard and only for the hardcore. Having tried it now 30 times about, the reason why it's hard is because of the random item drops. You might be lucky enough to get all weapons in the first couple of crates. Or you might be really lucky to get nothing but healing items, resulting in you having to run around with a knife against enemies that can pretty much kill you in one hit. It's incredibly frustrating. Add that the game will freeze as well, which is what happened to my latest. And freeze. So back again to try it. Going to get through it. Right, let's do this. Let's see how we do. First crate. You gotta be mindful about bombs. Some of the crates have bombs in them. There's two ways to know if there's a bomb in it. The bomb will kill you instantly. One, get close. And there's something to tick. No tick, no bomb. The second is the tape. The amount of tape that's wrapped around the box. Don't be tempted to go for that box. As nice as it looks, it's well out of the way, and you will take damage from one of the moulds that are attacking you in that living room. Just run through it. No matter how tempting it is, every time I'm about to go for that box, when it has appeared there, I have taken damage every single time. Run in here. Very well. As you see, we're off to a flyer. There's all the crates so far have given me items that heal, stabilise, use it straight away because it'll benefit us in the, benefit us in the long run. And as I said at the start, awesome, even more healing stuff. Considering how quickly you can die in this game, there's almost no point trying to hang on to things like that. Right, we're stuck with a knife, so we're going to have to do this bit with a knife. Be quick, and you won't take any damage from the mold that's behind you. It's close, but you can do it. Just come down and instantly start slashing. Do not let up. Do not pause. Get through the door and close it behind you. See, there he is. Wait too long. Slow down once. And you'll be gone. Check the tape. It's good. Okay, well, we got a better knife. So I'm going to drop the old one and rock up rock with this one. This one here. Yeah, we got a burner. Okay, so at least we've got two items that are useful. Again, be fast in your moves. Avoiding this trap the first time was so that it can damage the spider molder behind us. If he does manage to follow you all the way around, there's a second one that you can go around and then get in the door. Not ideal having to use a burner for him, but at least it takes care of him. Lead the fat moulded in. Don't forget to block, just to try and offset any damage he might do to you. Sometimes you will end up taking damage anyway. Heal. One of the reasons why it's important to have weapons and ammo is at this stage is because you want to get in here and there's dynamite.
Okay, well, we've got a magnum. That'll come in handy. And more chem fluid. Alright, lots of dynamite here. Take to the wall, so duck down and go under him. Then get this bugger's attention and let the dynamite do the work for you. Takes two dynamites to kill him. Shotgun really at this stage, but well work what we got. That's a bomb. Be very careful. Right in here you gotta kill two molded. And if you're a rubbish shot like me, you'll not kill them in one. With a freaking magnum of all weapons. Let's try and lead him through the trap. There we go. See, because I'm a bit of tape. Right, really quickly, as soon as you get through this door, close behind you. Stop him coming after you. Survival knife or the burner will get through this really quickly. And then we're in here. Right, a couple of crates. They both look good. Both are good. Invest in some healing items. Hi. Just touch the top step and then run all the way down. Get out of its way. Probably won't got run all the way down, but play it safe. One trap to done. And then go up here. Now, a very important thing, what I just did there is what you want to do as well, because I can't tell if that's bomb or not. Play it safe. If you're not sure, just play it safe. Right, we've got some steroids, use them straight away. It will give you more health, although, again, you die so easily, not much difference. Right, everything in here is a trap. All these boxes are bombs, and there's dynamite on the wall. So, basically, hit this trap here, and jump down. And that will go off, giving, destroying everything in there, making it a whole lot easier. That crate looks good. Right, no enemies to worry about yet. Let's keep doing what we're doing. We're going to enter the turret area where the turret can do a lot of work for you. As you can hear, one turret was fucking jack up. There he is on the floor. Run around here. Duck. So there's a turret directly ahead. That will now happily take care of the molder that's coming behind us. It's all about random drops. Right. In here, straight over to the side, stay at the turret's line of fire. Block dynamite. Be very careful in here. Don't rush. There's also a turret on the other side. Sometimes it will hit that dynamite itself if you're lucky. Out we go, get the molder's attention, run straight across the room, be quick, duck down on the other side. Close the door, and let the tyrants do the work for you. Patience here. It's exactly what you need. Oh, oh no, one's still alive. So you want to keep the door closed so it can't get to. Right, job done. Same as before. So we want to go to that room over there. What we got? What we got? Shotgun, please. 
Magnum ammo. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get attacked by two mo So you've got a machine gun, you can kind of hold back. There you go. Right, next up. See the dynamite? Shoot between. There's another one, but come right to the edge. And you want here as you drop down. <laughs> we'll use the gunpowder to create some more handgun ammo. See, there was the second dynamite. You can blow up if you want. You just want to be careful. More handgun ammo. So, be careful here. Hit this trap, then run away. Now, very careful. Don't, don't run in this... Because there's a bomb, always, and a trap. Blow the bomb, then go in. Okay, so that's not a bomb. A stabilizer. Might as well use it as well. Even better reloading. Right. Now we've done that room, on to the next. A herb. Stand back. Let that do the work for you. Right, when you go in here to the other side, a molar's going to spawn behind, so bear that in mind. Got to reload. It's alright, worked out. What we got? A shotgun, finally. I'm sure you didn't miss anything in here. Right, now that area's done. We're coming up to one of the more tougher parts. So there's a turret in here. So run in, duck, to the other side. Okay, we need to make space for that. Game ain't gonna let you leave now, it's gonna want you to kill all the enemies. So we're gonna use the turret to our advantage here. While also being aware that one of them is a fat molded, so be prepared to do this a lot. Let the turret take care of them. You basically wanna keep the You wanna keep the fat molded in its line of fire. I'm doing. <laughs> when is that it dead? It needs to be dead. Hey. Now we can leave. Okay, next bit up. Right, so we're getting to some of the tougher bits now because we're coming to the end. A couple of crawling enemies are going to come around here first. So take them out by being a better shot than I am. Right. 
one of the more hardest bits coming up now as two spider molders are going to show up. So just try and get kill of them quickly. Use whatever you've got, whatever you're confident using. There you go, they're dead. Alright, so next bit we're going to be making a run for. Careful going in the store. If you're unlucky like that, you'll take damage. Or if you're a terrible goddamn. Heal fully because this next bit is tough as well. Now run. You want to keep your distance. There we go. Done and done. Alright, we're coming to the boss fight. I've never done it before, so I am not feeling very confident. Obviously go around, pick up everything you can. Be aware there is traps in here as well. But these are turrets, what we're going to end up being quite useful for when it comes to dealing with Marguerite. going to use them because we're going to be using them on her. Hopefully. That's a good time to get that. It's a really good time to get that. Very lucky not to die there. Torrents. Very lucky I was to not die there. I'll take that luck though. Well, it's got three magnum bullets, a lot of flamer. Let's see how we do. Get Marguerite to come and get us. Yeah. Here she comes. Lots of patience at the moment. Haven't got much in the way of ammo, so I'm going to be relying heavily on those turrets before I switch to the knife.
Sounds like she's getting shot up by another turret. Tyrant up here is out of ammo. Carefully does it. I don't want to accidentally back into anything. Come on, you bitch. Down to the knife. Oh. Let's do a die now. Ethan must die. A bit of luck, a lot of luck. You know, obviously some skill. Can't say there isn't a little bit of skill. Yeah. With your ammo, just be really conservative with your ammo. So yeah, not bad. 2133 as well. Did it quite quick. And that's all you need to do. That's how you do Ethan Must Die. If you basically follow that and get as lucky as I did regarding. Don't rush. Have it done and no problem. <laughs>